get some music playing real quick. Yeah, I finally made like a little playlist just for live stream music. Da, da, da. And I finally found the favorite one I like. I don't know why it's hard to find. Oh jeez. Not this ad again. We don't need no sad hospital ads in this live stream. Hey Rebecca, how was your evening? Cause I know it's late for you. <laughs> okay. Oh hey, yo, what's up Jamie? Yeah, don't mind these scribble notes, that's just what I'm gonna be looking at. I was gonna try to write it down a bit neater, but I ran out of time. Cause when I was making my coffee, I had a bit of a spill. So I had to like clean that up, that's why I'm a little bit late. <laughs> Let me show you what we're gonna make today. I actually made these all last night. <laughs> so I made um, this adorable little peach. And it's, this one has been dusted with a little bit of blush on top. I don't know if you can tell on camera. You see like it's lighter down here and more pink up top. Give it more of that peach aesthetic. And then one of my favorite, and this was actually the hardest one were these cherries. A little lemon. I think I've already, yeah, I've already done like a lemon slice video and I thought, well, I've never made like a whole lemon and I wanted to make it like pretty small. I'm not sure if these could be earrings. They're, I guess they're okay size. They're not too, it's not too big. And that's just, this is probably the easiest one, the watermelon. I'm gonna probably change it up a bit. Where this row of white would be, I'm gonna add one more row of pink and then I'm gonna do like Louis like cool like half color change for the last round because the last round is just regular single crochet and I realized when I sewed it together it looks more like a whole lot less watermelon and a whole lot more like watermelon rind <laughs> and nobody wants that everyone wants more of the watermelon part uh, the music's not too loud is it it feels loud to me I'm gonna turn it down just one more notch I don't know how well it's reaching. Let's see. We'll start with the little peach. Get out all this peach yarn. And I'll use the bright green. I'll get that too. And of course I'll be using my trusty 1.4 millimeter hook. I'll get my needle out. There we go. So let me see. Oh god, I have like, as you can see, like when I was making these last night, like I had like so many different notes, and I scribbled out, and I'm like, let me scribble it out a bit more because I can still kind of see through it. I don't want to accidentally read the wrong thing. So for the peach, I like starting bottom up because you're just gonna put a leaf anyway and you gotta sew down to make that like little, this little dent. So it's better to have like a nice, I tried doing it from the top to bottom but the end just didn't look as great. So I'm gonna start with um, three single crochet into the magic circle. So we got one, and I always like to make these stitches just a little bit looser. 
Because if I do them too tight, then it'll just be impossible to try to turn it to the right side. Like, it'll start crocheting, like, on the wrong side like that, because it's so tight. And now I'm going to increase in each stitch. See if I can bring this a bit closer. There we go, that's a bit easier. Okay, if I bring it too close, it gets fuzzy. Um, okay, now. I'm going to use the end of my hook to kind of help push it out, that little point. It always helps to like kind of pinch at it. And also you can pull at the tail to tighten it a bit more. Okay, good. And now, we're going to increase again. So we have six single crochet, now we're going to have twelve. I believe after that we'll do like one single crochet and then increase. Wait, okay, so two. Okay, so this one is three and four. This one is five and six. This one is seven and Eight, nine, ten, and last will be eleven and twelve. Oops, I seem to not be going through the full. Yeah, my loop keeps splitting, and I like went through halfway, and I'm like, I don't want that. <laughs> Okay, now we have 12 stitches on our hook. I'm gonna, I kind of periodically do this, like, just a little bit at a time and push it more so it sticks out. Especially pinching it will help give it that peach, kind of like peach effect. I think that little dip it has at the bottom. Not dip, I should say, more like point. Okay, and now I'm going to single crochet and then increase. And we'll just repeat that step for the whole round, and we'll have 18 stitches at the end. And I believe I will use my stitch marker for this now that it's finally big enough to hold on to. Because I don't want to have to count. Okay, that should be 18. Now, push it out again. And you can see it says I increased so much. It's just like this little dip right here. And then when we, I think, let me see. Yeah, for uh, two rounds we will single crochet. I think I originally did like three and it didn't look right. So I'm about two, I guess was better. It seems like so little, but 
Ah, uh, okay, so I decrease gently, like, near the top, so it, like, just kind of slopes, rather than decreasing normally, because I, I remember that being too much, if I did, like, regular decreasing. Ah, there goes my stitch marker. Get in there. There we go. So now, just all single crochet all around. Oh, you spent half an hour looking for your stitch marker? Oh, no, I feel you. Like, you, you'll buy a whole bunch of them, right? Like, I have a whole bunch of my, uh, I use bobby pins, and always I end up, like, having to go find another one. I'm always losing it. Yeah, this one I made, actually, out of, uh, gardening wire. And then I kind of, like, chiseled at the end with the wire cutters. It's pretty easy because it was, like... You know, it's very flexible. It's not, like, it's more flexible than a paper clip, that kind of metal. And then, but the problem is it would, like, kind of scratch onto the yarn. So I had to coat it, the edge part, that I cut with a little bit of nail polish. I actually have one. Where'd it go? I have one where the first one I made, I completely coated it. It looks much nicer, though, doesn't it? It's a cute, like, minty green. But it was kind of a bit too, I coated it too thick. Uh, if it's just fine if I do something a little bit, um, a little bit bigger, like maybe if I use like the 1.5 or 6, just 1.4 and below, it's just a bit too, I guess the stitches are too tight for it to go through properly. I wish I could make a version of this, but like really super skinny so I can use it with my micro crochet. So I get, I get kind of tired of using this because it's so big. It's not big, right? But it's so big. It's my for micro crochet, you know. Oh, I'm still looking. <laughs> well, I hope you find it. <laughs> but if not, hopefully you have bobby pins. They work pretty good. They also work for I think normal size crochet as well. Cause I think a lot of I think I did used to use bobby pins on my regular, like normal size amigurumi. They're so easy to pull it in and out. Just um, on the small crochet, it's so long that it kept kind of getting in the way. I'm just going to kind of keep pinching it a little bit, I think. Do I want to cut this yet? Yeah, I think I'll cut this. I don't need it anymore. Because more I'm going to be using when we finish off with like a really long string. And that's what we'll sew like this little bump right here. Yeah, you're using a point two hook. Oh my god, you have smaller hooks than I do. <laughs> I know, right? Like, what does work for that? I guess this would be your only option. This is like it's basically a, a needle, basically. I forgot where I even got this. I think I've seen them before. I used to see them at my old job at Ross. Like sometimes some of the um, tags would be like held on through this. So it's like, which which I collected more. They actually used to have something like in the color black and stuff, and I'm like, those looked way neater and more elegant. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, hey, Ma. How you doing? I don't know. I think it's afternoon for you, right? I was about to say how I was about to say how's your morning, but I keep forgetting it's not morning for everybody else. It will be for later because I'm gonna do. I'm actually live streaming twice today, so I decided I'm gonna do 
I might change to 8.30 for next week. I don't know. Just last yeah, last night I went to bed kind of late and I thought 8.30 is a bit, got to be a bit early. I'd only get like four hours of sleep. So I was like, uh, I'll push it to 9.30. Because I think that was when my first live stream was at 9.30, I think. And I'm going to do it at 5.30 p.m. Because that's going to be like morning time for a lot of Europeans. And also like mid late afternoon, depending on where you are in Asia like that. And also, I think it'd be good for Korean watchers, because I don't know how many Korean people wake up early on Sundays. Let me see. Oh, your crochet had a job with ginormous yarn. I know, I wish I could, like, crochet them giant plushies. I can't find a freaking yarn store in this city. And even the one we kind of found, she's not really a yarn store, she's more like a lady who gives lessons and then she just kind of sells a little bit of yarn on the side and even then it was mostly scrubber yarn did i oops i think i actually increased there we don't want that i don't want to mess up my stitch count because it's very delicate when it comes to the uh decreasing i need exact numbers oh god you're a 25 millimeter <laughs> okay Oh my god, I think the biggest I have is an 8mm. I think that's the biggest hook I have. Wait, no, is it? Wait, let me see. Oh, I don't have my thing anywhere. It might be 9mm, I can't remember. Almost all the time I don't use stitch markers. And that is true, yeah. And sometimes you don't even have to, like, really count. You just have to, like, count... How many times you've increased, really? That's actually the best. Like, when it gets to the bigger numbers, or sometimes, if you're continually increasing, like, if you didn't have any rounds of single crochet in between, you could, like, kind of see the increases. And usually the next increase will be on the last stitch of that increase. And that's how I do it. If I'm, like, continually increasing on something big. Like, that's what I was doing for my hat, because I got, I got real sick of counting fast. Because, like, the stitches in between got to, like... 20 something and I'm like I don't want to keep counting the single crochet in between so I just would look at it visually or I'll just make sure to if it's something smaller I just like count how many times I increased oh my god this loop keeps splitting I don't want that like I don't want that to stick out but yeah I can't wait to see your froggy Maya that's gonna be cute I love how frogs are in now I was like, my grandma used to love frogs. She had, like, it was so funny, her bathroom was decorated with frogs, everything. So, like, I think some of y'all remember I talked about my grandmother who liked owls, right? That was her mother. <laughs> and her daughter was, was super into frogs. So my mom's mom, she was a frog woman. And chickens for the kitchen, like, her uh, kitchen was chicken and rooster everything. It's like, how more southern can you get? <laughs> But at the weird time, her uh, living room was like African themed. It was really like she had like safari themed uh, blankets and stuff. It was it was so bizarre. It was like, and it was such a. It was not a house. It was like a kind of like a trailer, but she uh, they built a deck around it though. So it was kind of like a house. It was really cool. So it was small. It's like one like kitchen. It's all chickens. The living room is all safari animals like zebras. Um, a gazelle and like elephants and stuff and then you go to her bathroom and it's all froggy stuff uh, I miss her I think she had a frog shower curtain I wonder where she got it from because that was really cute oh wait I think I did already I already did two rounds of single crochet uh, oh yeah now we can start gently decreasing what do I do oh I four single crochet and then decrease I already got two Okay, so two more. I know, right? I love mushroom aesthetics because um, one of my favorite League of Legends characters is Teemo and he throws, one of his things is throwing the uh, mushrooms, but people hate him for that. Uh, but um, I also hate mushrooms, except for like when Jong made the high, um, Hayashi? I think it's Hayashi rice. Yeah, Hayashi rice. We're gonna hopefully do a video on that soon. And make our, like, what Alex, make it with Alex and make a channel called, not channel, we're gonna make it a good playlist called Hook and Cook. 
And then the first one's going to be Hayashi rice, which is this, like, delicious beef rice type. It's, like, not curry, but you can think, like, it's a beef, beef version of curry or something, just with no curry in it. But, uh, wait, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, but he put mushrooms in it, and they actually tasted good. Like, they didn't have that icky mushroom texture that I, I super hate, you know? Because it's, like, freaking rubber. But the type, type of mushroom he used, it blended in with the onions. You know, it tasted no different than if I was eating a bit of onion. So that was really nice. I think portobello mushrooms are not too bad either. My parents used to eat those a lot. Uh-oh, one, two, three. I messed up somewhere. Well, good thing it's small, so even if I go back, it's not that big of a deal. Um, let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, Tito's like, mushrooms are not icky. So you'll suck Tito. Well, that's what I mean. Like, the ones he used were actually tasty for once. Usually, I don't like mushrooms. They're so <laughs> rubbery. It's so weird because some a lot of Koreans like that texture, and I'm just like, I don't like it. But the, the mushrooms he used, though, were actually really delicious. And he cut them thinly, at really thin. So, I don't know. They just blended in with the taste of onions. Oh, but here's the thing, though. Actually... I actually don't hate the taste of mushrooms, to be honest. It's like if, you know, like if you blend it up, because that's what he would usually do. Would blend it in the, uh, make like a paste out of it and then put it in whatever soup or something. Because, you know, like beef stroganoff uses uh, mushrooms and that actually makes it taste even better. I just can't stand the texture, really. <laughs> Rebecca's like, mushrooms should not exist. Yuck, blur. <laughs> they should only exist for our adorable mushroom cottagecore aesthetics. Because, you know, I just love that little classic cute little red mushroom with the white dots. Like, that's like, how much cuter can you get in nature making something that freaking adorable? Oh yeah, I gotta keep track of the uh, time today. I gotta make sure not to go... I probably gotta stop the stream like around... Hopefully it won't be super long like last time. Last time was eight hours, even though I told myself I'd make it shorter and I end up making it the longest stream ever. But um, my mother-in-law is coming at um, 3.30 because we bought some beef for the Hayashi rice. And she wants to... Uh, we're gonna split the meat, give her half, and then she's gonna give us... Uh, some bulgogi, like homemade bulgogi, and she's bringing our rice cooker back. I'm so happy. I hate making rice in a pressure cooker. It sucks. I mean, it's still easier than using, I guess, cooking it for, in a regular pot. But Jesus, I don't know what's with rice cookers. Those things are magical. They just do everything perfectly. You just get perfect rice each time. But you try to deviate from it, and you just get horrible, glumpy. Slash burnt rice. <laughs> it's like, like, what am I doing wrong? Okay, okay, I think my stitch count is on correct. It's on par now. Let me see. One. Oh, Jesus. Why are you giving me such trouble, Stitch? No, not you, Stitch. I have my Stitch plushie in the corner. <laughs> okay. Three. And... F yeah, four. Okay, perfect. Am I crocheting all over there again? Yes, I am. Oh, God. Maybe I should move this. So we can see more here. I have it too close. I want to be able to crochet perfectly in the center for you guys. I don't want you guys having to, like, look at... One complete end of the screen. Come on. There we go. I can see it's already starting to look a little peach shaped. Okay, Tito, what do you think? It kind of looks like the peach emoji a little bit. It's really tiny. These would probably make really adorable earrings. I'm not going to add jump rings. 
because uh, I didn't make a, an exact pair. I'd have to make it with the same time. If I tried making another one later, they'll just be kind of like, one will end up being smaller than the other. That's how it always goes. If I don't make them, and even when I do make them around at the same time, some one will end up bigger or, or smaller than the other. I feel like oops, this one might end up a tidbit bigger, I think, because I'm filming on camera. Or I'm um, crushing while filming and I always, my stuff ends up just a, a tad bigger. Okay, this one is three, yeah, three single crochet and then decrease. One, two, three. Oh, I gotta head, I'll catch you later, Tito. Plus we got tomorrow too, right? I wonder what he thought of my because me and Tito do some pixel art and his friend Harold. And I wonder what they thought of mine. <laughs> I added um like it's supposed to be like spooky themed and I added um one of my favorite singers, uh Ryan James Dio, I added his his little mascot named Murray in the background. <laughs> No, I kind of have using peach walls that I can't see the color. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Like, do you ever have, like, sometimes where you literally pick up the yarn, right? And it's, like, pink or something. Like, it's really light. But when you're crocheting with it, it looks white. Like, you don't see any color in it at all. That happens a lot. Not necessarily this one, but my light pink. Like, you know, all together, you know, when you have it, like, in a little skein, it looks very pink but then when I was doing it using it individually I think even on a video somewhere I recorded using that same pink it looked white I was just like where's all the color but once you crochet the whole thing then the color kind of pops back out I don't know something about looking at the string one-on-one -on -one, it just makes it lose some of that color like lose a little bit of that saturation One, two, and three, and then decrease. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot the stitch count. After this round, it will be twelve. Yeah. I mean, I might, I'll probably write these down and post them on Discord. Cause you guys get, y'all are the ones to get, like more of these like simple, easy to like uh, type away patterns. I still have yet to film the carrot and ice cream video. I think I was going to do those next and then the Fortnite lose on it, but I think I need to hurry up and get that Fortnite, ah, ah, I can't speak, Fortnite Lulama. llama. <laughs> I need to get that done. And then I will like just have like a bunch of like the earring and carrot earring video. I gotta work on baby Yoda to make a... Maybe make him slightly, slightly bigger. I'll just make like him as a normal video, just to making him as the imposter, which is something fun for the live stream. <laughs> I don't know how many people would watch a pattern video. Ah, uh, let me see. You made a re bunch of. Oh, you made a bunch of earrings on Shopkins. Oh, I think. Wait. Oh, I'm thinking of Shopify. The. Is that like similar to Shopify? What is Shopkins? This is familiar. Oh wait, oh wait, is Shopkins that really adorable, like, um, I think I know what you mean. Let me Google that just in case. I think it's like those cute little, it reminds me of my littlest pet shop kind of, but it's like, you know, grocery store items or like, just non-living things. Shopkins. I should make some Shopkins stuff, that's adorable. Yeah, oh, I love this stuff, it's so adorable. Is it made by the same people who made Littlest Pet Shop? It really has like that same vibe. I know, sadly this came out. Also, yeah. I know, yeah, items with little faces. Oh yeah, that actually reminds me of like I made my little, that little toaster. That was my thing for a while. I mean, it still kind of is, but I need to get back into it. I would make like inanimate objects like a toaster and give it a face. Just the one I made was kind of meh. Because I, I made that like what in... 2016? Yeah. So I remember I had just moved in, me and John had just moved in together, and I was just getting into crocheting like really tiny. I think at the time I was using like a 
or like a 1.8 millimeter hook. So when I crochet, but I was using the same weight of yarn, so it was like had a lot of holes in it. And that's when I finally found the perfect size for this. Like the 1.3 is a bit too tight. It's good if it's like a if I'm using the splitted sport weight though. But the 1.4 was perfect. Let's see when it's well, sure it looks white. Yeah, same thing. Like when you bunch up bunch up all the yarn, you can see the color. It's so weird. Something maybe oh you know what maybe because it's like a lot of the light hits it so it washes out a lot of that color. What is this one? Oh yeah, so this round is two single crochet and then a decrease. Oh yeah, this is also our last round because it'll be nine single crochet then. I better actually start stuffing it. So I can already see the holes getting small. I should make like a Shopkin series. That'd be cute. And their eyes are pretty easy. Like I think it's just what a white circle and a black dot. Let me double look. Oh no, it's more black eyes with like a little shine. Hmm. No, they're just so adorable. I know, right? And like Make them like his earrings. Oh, those would be so cute. Probably kids would love that. I, mean, I don't know. Do Korean kids have Shopkins here? I don't know if they do. They have like their own version of toys and stuff. Like they have their own princess dolls. But I think some dis. I know some Disney stuff. I think is in the store. But I'm trying to remember what I saw. Let's see. I'm trying to remember what I saw when we used to go Home Plus because um, the Home Plus near our old apartment was a big one. You know, the one near us now is just is just the grocery store part with like a little bit of home stuff. But the other place it sold like clothes, makeup. You know, it had Tommy Molly in it. It had a um the food court. It was like four layers, I think. You had to like take escalators to go up. And they had like in the clothing section they also had like kids toys. And then there was like a whole bunch of stuff around. But I was like, kind of cool seeing like, you know, toys that you're not used to seeing, you know, brands that you're not used to seeing. I'm so used to seeing the same old, same old at Target. And then you get to a new country and you see all these like different brands and like their own characters. Oh yeah, a lot of, a lot of cacao uh, toys. Like, uh, Cacao Talk is like their messaging service. And they have like these little mascots and I forgot. I know one is Ryan. Like, uh, I think you guys saw all my coffee mug in one live stream. Where it's like that little lion guy, but he doesn't have a mane. <laughs> and like there's a dog and a cat. I forgot their names. I don't wait, the dog's name is Frodo, I think. I think it's Frodo, I gotta double check. There's like a duck. I done forgot his name. And the last one is not even an animal, it's just a peach with a body. And his name is literally a peach. So it's cute. Oh uh, yeah, him and a peach and Ryan seem to be the most popular. I think because they're, they have the cuter, more funny faces, I guess, for stickers. Let's see. Oh, I did a, oops, somewhere. Wait. Because I had one extra stitch left over and that's not good. Let me try this again. Oh my god, my stitch marker keeps wanting to fall off. I gotta be careful though because like the stuffing like it keeps wanting to crochet in with me and I don't want that because then it'll be just stuck on the outside and no amount of cutting it away will ever completely get rid of it. <laughs> okay, let's see a decrease. Okay, single crochet. so hard at this point 
Well, it's not hard if I'm doing off camera. It's just hard to do on camera. Okay, let me see. Do this my stitch count correct? Okay, I have the correct stitch count. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this since I know I, I will have the perfect amount. Because that is just getting in the way. I'm not gonna slip knot to finish off. I'm just gonna leave it as is and just pull it out. Well, I might leave that a bit too long. But... Oh well, yeah. I think I left this. Yeah, this is a bit too long of a string or long of a tail. Uh, shoot. I can feel it like if I pull too quickly, it'll knot up. We don't want that. And then I'll just sew up the top. Let me shorten this. That's a bit too long. Eh, I could just use that for stuffing. And what I like to do is I like to... I, mean, I think I'm going to skip that first one because I've noticed if I go into that one, the one next to it, it makes it too... won't let it like the magic you know what I mean like I go in and out of the uh, front loops of the top stitches and then when you pull it tight it like pulls it in really nice and it looks a little bit less ugly <laughs> so I know always ending crochet like this is always it's always hard to make it look nice stitch marker congrats I know I've, I, that would drive me crazy too okay I'm going to pinch this just a little bit more at the bottom to make it look more like a peach and I think because we started with three single crochet I've noticed that sometimes like even when I uh, increase evenly one side will always be a little bit more I can't really tell, but I think you can tell it here. Like, this side has more volume than this side. But that's good because, at least for the peach anyway, because we'll do the, we'll uh, make the dip on the more voluminous side. So let me get that over there. Perfectly in the middle. I'm gonna go down first. Right. Like pull it. Oh wait, that's not quite in the center. Oh well. I know I've tried the way of where you like go individually and it just, it doesn't work on the smaller crochet. I don't know why. It works, um, on bigger crochet. I've tried, I've tried that technique. It looks really cool. Like you go in and out each stitch so you don't have like this line right here, but it just won't work for the small crochet. Or if I made it a little bit bigger, like it'd still be small, but just not this tiny. Okay. 
And it's getting a bit more peach shaped. Oh, your cat ran off of it? <laughs> How many times does your cat run off of your stitch marker? That's the first I've ever heard. Oh, God, that's adorable, though. Like, you're, like, trying to crochet, and then your cat just, like, slinks up to you and just, like, snatches, goes, like, mine, and just runs off. Okay, this is the trouble of trying to get it back up. I'm trying to go for, like, one more round to, like, deepen the crease a little bit, because... One time was a bit, always a little bit too weak. much better and now I'm just gonna sew it up oh god counting this one 48 times oh man I know what you mean like you had to like, are you counting like the same row each time? And it's like, I'll have like one row, I'll just like keep messing up, and I'm like, oh, I've oh, overcounted it for like the millionth time, and I'm like, oh, I need a break from this, <laughs> like that. shape it oh yeah, your frog's body's already done and that's the thing i love those when i watch like those velvet yarn tiktoks it's like you can like take a pattern for something small and it just just turns it huge like gigantic i wonder where to get velvet yarn i mean probably yeah online but i don't know you know what it feels like so be a korean brand like what if there's a what if i'm getting the crappy brand and i don't realize it you know what i mean Oh, I wish there was more yarn stores here like there are in Seoul. Because in Seoul, there's a ton. But I guess like these smaller cities, maybe there's not enough hobby-related stores, I guess. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey, you notice like some black has like a blue tinge to it? It's so weird. Oops, I keep banging into stuff. So you wrote your pattern for your frog and you use it for all the different types of size yarns. That's something, yeah. Because, like, oh, when I made my mong, it's, like, tiny, right? But then, um, Make of Alex and Dubai's, ah, Divine Rose Knight made it and it was, like, a little bit bigger. Like, not super big, but, like, a, like, maybe this big? I, it's hard to tell from their photos, but it looked like it was, like, maybe this big, which is really cool. Uh, what was I gonna, oh, yeah, I was trying to find my blush. <laughs> That's why I kept bumping into stuff. So, at least for if you're in America, you can just buy this. It's Elf. I got it from Target just for my crochet. And I'm going to start first with the lighter color, like the light orangey color. But probably any blush will do. I'm just going to... I'm going to do this before I put the leaf on because the first peach I made before, like a long time ago, 
I did this after I made the leaf, and even though I was trying to be super careful to not get blush on the leaf, I ended up getting blush on the leaf. And it looked weird. It was still cute, though. I think it was possibly smaller than this. Because I think I made it with embroidery floss. The first peach I made. So I remember it being really, really tiny. I'll probably have to wash my hands over just because I have blush on them. On my fingertips. I know, right? Black and dark blue are just almost interchangeable, it seems. Oh yeah, like, you know, like, you think the midnight sky is black, right? But it's technically like a really dark shade of blue. Okay, and now I'm going to take like the more hot pink color and dust that at the very, like, very edges of the top. Give, give it more of a, like a little gradient. Ah, no, don't. Oh, whew, thank God my blanket, I caught it. I have like two blankets wrapped around me. It's not that cold, but I, you know, I just always have to love to have something like wrapped around me. And thankfully it caught, it caught this or else it would have fallen to the floor and I don't want that in. And then I'll use like this end and like kind of bring all the colors down, like kind of blend it. <laughs> it's like my little crush is getting a makeup job. You look stunning, honey. You look beautiful. <laughs> I think I have some kind of like place right here. Let me cut that off. There we go. Okay, I think that looks good. I don't know if you can really tell on camera. Let me see if I can try it auto focusing. Oh, you can kind of tell, like, there, like, how it's dark at the top. Okay, now I'll show you how to make the leaf. Leaf's really easy. <laughs> it's just in the magic circle, but first I need to wash this blush off. Now you're working with the dark wool, not black yarn drats. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, just cute. I like it. Just, good. just so adorable. And that's funny because I, I usually don't like peach flavored candy, but I love me some good peach juice though. So, da -da -da. so in the magic circle, all we do, let me see. We just single crochet two times. So one, two, we're gonna chain two, and then go back in the magic circle and single crochet two more times. And then pull. And let me. Join with the first stitch and finish off. I'm probably, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, chain one, you know, then you finish off. I'm not gonna do that because sometimes it'll create a knot that I don't like. On like really tiny stuff. And I just, you kind of like pinch where that chain two was. And you got like a little leaf. It's got some fuzz though, then I need to cut that off, but I gotta be careful. Hmm, 
Okay, well, the hard part. Sewing it on. Where did I sew it last time? Okay, like the leaves facing away. Oh, then actually, let me sew with this first because this is like the original tail and that'll help keep it in its spot while I sew with the longer one. Oh, your hot drink? Yeah, off to get your hot chocolate. Is that what I need, I think? I remember seeing something about hot chocolate. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Oh, your sister was making hot chocolate. Did you your hot chocolate? I got me my hot coffee here. So that's my similar version. <laughs> Let me have this a bit closer, so... I mean, my thing is, my playlist does say crochet with coffee, so I think I need to have my coffee in, <laughs> in the pit frame or something. Because <laughs> then uh, people will become like, where's the coffee at? Oh, your dad made it. <laughs> She's not allowed anywhere near it. <laughs> Why would she like steal it or something? Because <laughs> I know how, what it's like having siblings. I have three sisters. To be fair, we'd all steal each other's food. <laughs> oh my god. I actually used to hide my... A uh, stash of Coca Colas inside my yarn stash, and my sister found it. My sister Katie, and I'm like, How? Why? You had no business being in there in the first place. She, and it's so weird. She just said she got a weird feeling like that she should check my yarn stash for anything hidden, and she found my Coke stash. Because, like, not not an actual Coke, you know, like for anyone who probably didn't hear, I mean, but like soda stash. I gotta, I probably should say Coca Cola, not Coke stash, because, like, some people will mishear that and think, like, the drug, and I'm just like, no, I'm talking about the soda, goodness. But yeah, well, actually, they weren't even Coca-Colas. They were actually, like, the Walmart brand Sam's, uh, Sam's Colas. I actually prefer those over Coca-Colas, because Coca-Colas have gotten a bit too sweet. Uh, I forgot what year it started, but, like, how, like maybe, like, ten years ago or something? They just started tasting way too sweet. And the Sam's clothes, you know, they're cheaper, so they don't put as much sugar, and they actually taste better for me. And there we go, we got our first little peach. And this little leaf. Let me see. Oh, actually, this one's smaller. This is the original one. And this is the one we made. Yeah, I thought it would be bigger, but this one actually is bigger. Huh. Interesting. Uh, something that happened would hurt you in a kettle? Oh boy, that sounds seriously scary. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I keep 
keep bumping the uh, camera. <laughs> okay, so I think we'll do the lemon next. I'm trying to like do the quicker ones first. And actually, before we start, I'm going to make the leaf. I think this one's a slight, I think I made a bigger leaf just for the lemon. Let me see. I think I remember right. It was like half double crochet. So instead of like two single crochets, this one's half double crochet. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet, half double crochet, I think. Let me see how that looks and see if it's the same. Oh, and the magic circle won't tighten. Uh, have you tried doing, like, uh, sewing it up a little bit? Um, because sometimes they'll help for, like, really big items where the uh, magic circle doesn't want to tighten. Because I know what you mean. Like, you'll be crocheting, and then, like, when you're done, you'll notice, like, you're, the top part of your crochet has, like, a little circle, and it's just like, uh. I'd get, like, um, I don't know if you cut it off already, but, like, maybe get some new yarn, and then, like, start from the bottom that way it has like a long tail inside the thing and like put it through the loops at the top and then tight try to tighten it a little bit more that usually helps <laughs> let's see i will scared to the point i ran out the door had a panic attack oh goodness it sounds like you and your sister have a very scary relationship <laughs> okay Okay, let me see. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, half double crochet, then single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and then half double crochet. Looks like nothing, right? And then you pull the string. Whoopsie. And actually, I need to join. And also, once again, I'm not gonna chain one to finish off. I'm gonna just pull it through. Leaves the end a little bit cleaner. And then you gotta fiddle with it. Like, you gotta kind of pinch where that chain two was to kind of bring the leaf alive. And this cute little leaf. try that because I had the there's different ways to make leaves some of them was like chaining a little bit and then like going through let me try that let's see if that looks same because it one looks kind of big on the big side let me chain one two three so for this one I'll put two half double crochet and, uh, oh, using oh, you use the UV resin to hold the uh, circle tight. That's actually kind of neat. That's a neat idea, actually. I don't have resin, sadly, so I'd probably be using hot glue or something for me. I'm gonna put single crochet back in, and let me do two more, two single crochet on the other side. I want to see if this is what the leaf looked like. If not, then I'll use the other one. Uh oh, that didn't go well. Maybe I made the half double crochet too tiny. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, to make resin eyes. I know, I wish I had resin, because that actually would be a great tool to use for making eyes. Especially eyes that are, like, really tiny. I'm gonna try this again. Maybe I did have another type of leaf where I did two half double crochet, then a single crochet. Let me see if that works. That first one looked too small. Oh yeah, I think this might have been it. It looks much more... a little bit bigger. Yeah, that seems to match much better. So this was not the right one. Probably I'll just throw it away there. I'll put it over the edge right there. And let me see. Where did I where did I write how to do the lemon? Okay. Oh yeah, it actually starts off the same as the um peach. Like this part. And I actually found a way to like decrease I don't know, how does it look to you guys? Do the sides look exactly the same? Cause this is the starting point and this is like the end point. I try to, when I was done, I try to like take my tail and sew in and out, trying to make it look as nice and smooth as possible, similar to this side. From far away, it looks perfect though. But like when up close, I can tell like which which one's the end. <laughs> oh, you're drawing a bunny for your new project, and the brain is going to rip it up. But apparently, it's cute. <laughs> Oh, do you mean like crochet ripped up bunny? Like a zombie bunny? <laughs> like that kind of thing? That actually would be cute. I mean, is it making anything like... I love spooky things, but also especially if they have like a cute element to it. It just makes it even better. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks the same. That's good. Yeah, from far away, you can. it looks the same. Actually, maybe to like someone who doesn't crochet, they might not be able to tell, which will be good. So I, I kind of want to make these into earrings. It's like, like how adorable would that be, like lemon earrings? And then I can make like another set where it's like the lemon slice, like that kind of thing. Okay, so I gotta start three single crochet in the magic circle. Da -da 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 -da. And then we'll increase. This is always the hard part. Oh yeah, so yeah, like a zombie bunny. That would be cute. Oh yeah, like you have like, it's got like little rips and tears, and it's got like the stuffing coming out, or like little patches on it. <laughs> Night of the living bunny. Oh, you drew the eye on that one, but you don't think it looks as good? Actually, probably like, for a cute albino one, Probably using like, you're like, because you said you had peach, right? Peach wolf? 
that would be cute for like the eyes and stuff like make it it's because it's close to white but not quite so it would stand out just a little bit give it like a little I albino-ish kind of look to it I think like don't some of my uh, albino people have like pink eyes I think like it's like really cool actually this girl's not albino but she had mint color eyes I remember we went to high school together and the first thing I remember she had like the coolest color of eyes they were real too they weren't uh contact lenses or anything like I don't know it's like the first time I've ever seen anybody with mint colored eyes I wish I had like my yearbook so I could well I don't know if it would show on camera like her eyes so, like on a picture from yearbook but I just remember Oh yeah, 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 they do, yeah. Just give your bunny, like, pink shaded eyes. Pink, that, all that really super light pink, um, like, nose. Make it blend with the white, but just enough to stand out. It'll give it, like, an albino effect to it. And so we increase again, so. I know, yeah, mint color, that's awesome. I wonder if it was like a family trade or something. It was so, just eyes were just so unique. I need to Google that up, actually, mint colored eyes. Because she's the only person I've ever seen with mint colored eyes. Uh-oh, I think I lost my count. But it's supposed to be 12, so that's usually pretty easy to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 11, okay, if it's 11, that means this is the last stitch right here. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, you got magnets so you can make your um, frog for your mom to put on her locker at work. I know, right? She can, like, that's actually a cool idea, like, she, your mom can bedazzle her, um, work locker with all, like, your, your adorable, like, crocheting magnets. And probably all her co-workers would be jealous, like, why my daughter doesn't do that for me? <laughs> I remember, yeah, like, one, I made a, I think some of you who are on my Instagram, you've seen my Mickey Mouse keychain I made a long time ago. When was that? It wasn't that long ago, it was, like... 2018 I made I made it right before we left San Francisco and it was for my mom's co-worker and the sad thing is I writ I wrote down that pattern how to make it and I done lost it you know it might be somewhere at their house I'm wondering if some of my notes for my old patterns I wonder if they're just at my parents house because a lot of my crafting stuff was left there like stuff that I wouldn't need and I wonder if that is there. Like maybe just shoved in a drawer somewhere. Because I had like this like clear, really big drawer of like the like the ones you get from Target or Walmart. And I wonder if I have some like little notes just stashed somewhere. Oh wait, this is sing crochet. An increase. Oh yeah, it will go up to 18. Oh, you know what I just realized? I never wrote down how many rows of single crochet I do. Oh well, I'll just figure that out and I'll make sure to write it down. I wrote down the rest. Oh yeah, I wrote it down but I didn't put the round number because I had forgotten. So I was like, uh, I'll do it later <laughs> when I remake another one. We'll just see what length feels good. Uh oh. I lost my count. I need to start over. Because this is the important round. I 
Actually, that's the thing I like about uh, big crocheted items is that you can crochet the eyes and that looks good. You know what I mean? Like, you can like take some normal size yarn and crochet really big and then it's like really refined. But it's like, that's when it, it gets hard when you do smaller crochet because crocheted eyes don't look as good on small crochet. And that's why we like using things like resin or like the safety eyes. But for the big, the really big crochet, you can like just take normal weight crochet and you can even like crochet a small circle and that'll be like the eye shine hey what's up make it with alex oh yeah you missed it we made the first uh, one of our little we made the peach already this is the one from last night now we're working on the lemon i think these will all be yeah these fruits are all also these would be cute to actually put in like molung's hands I should make probably more molungs, make my army of molungs even bigger. They just take so long to make. More the the body takes forever to make, because so that's the biggest part. I know, right? I have like a lemon wedge uh, video, I think, but I never made a full lemon. I'll, I actually worked on this just last night, trying to perfect it. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually the end, and this is the beginning. I actually took my tail yarn and would like go in and out, in and out around it to make it look a little bit nicer and not so crappy. Cause you know how like ending crochet always, it looks like crap. I wish we could find a way to make it better because it sucks when you like have something that you need to like be able to see all sides of, but you don't want to show off that like one ugly spot. Especially if you want to sell it. Gotta become like the master of hidden techniques. <laughs> That's why I was really happy when I found like Planet June's uh, tutorials. She really like helped my crochet look a lot better. Okay, this is... Now we're gonna increase. I'm like trying to keep track of what I'm doing, but it's so hard. <laughs> oh, thank you, Alex. I know actually all these fruits I made just yesterday. I was trying to like, I was gonna crochet, what was it, Thursday? But I didn't have any time. Uh oh, wait, did I increase there? There's one, two, oh, I messed up somewhere again. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Don't do this to me, yarn. Let me frog. That's the only problem with working with splitted, at least splitted acrylic yarn. I've noticed that it wants to, those fibers like attach to each other and it doesn't want to frog sometimes. But I found doing like that seems to help a little bit. Okay, I think this was an increase, right? Yeah, I must have missed an increase somewhere. I keep trying to remember to crochet in the center. No! Why you do this to me, yarn? What was that? An increase? Yeah. <laughs> Drawing bunny eyes are impossible. Thing. What do bunny eyes normally look like? Oh yeah, they are kind of like a teardrop kind of shape, aren't they? I think most people when they crochet a bun, they just give it a circle for eyes and they're like, done. <laughs> but yeah, I know what you mean. Like, if you want to make a good zombie bunny, though, you want to have, like, a more menacing kind of look. So you kind of want that natural teardrop shape for your bunny. Mm, 
Okay, we'll see you later, Alex. I'm actually cr uh, doing... Well, actually, this will be too late for you, but like I'm actually live streaming twice today. I'm going to live stream later at 5.30 for the people who live in like um, Europe and uh, other parts of Asia. And also, plus, I think Korean people tend to like to watch stuff in the afternoon and not the morning. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. I just gotta be sure to end this live stream before, like, no later than 2.30, though. Because of my mother-in-law coming over. Bye. Okay, yay, I did it. I got the stitch, uh, stitch count, right? Whew. Okay, what is it now? Do -do 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 -do. Oh yeah, this is just, now it's just a single crocheting all around. Yes. My favorite part is the mindless, just mindless crocheting, no worry of counting. Well, maybe except rows, but. 5.30, what's that time in the UK? I think it should be in the morning for you guys. Um, so, the reason being is because, well, I think you guys know Hentai Malou, right? On Discord, um, she's from France, and... She sadly didn't get to see some of the live streams because, you know, it's too late at night for her. I think it's similar to your time, I think, Rebecca. Maybe an hour ahead or so. I'm not quite sure. But she's on standard French time, so... It'll, at 5.30 uh, this afternoon will be 9.30, also Sunday. So it'll be the same day, just it'll be morning for them. They're eight hours earlier than us. <sighs> this whole thing of having to, like figure out good times to stream so that every I want everybody in the world to have a chance to watch you know what I mean oh dread why is there such thing as time differences why but that's how it goes let me see oh Jesus it's 1 47 a.m. oh that's right I, I started later than normal because usually you know lately I've been trying to do like earlier and earlier but this time I I was thinking, should I do 6.30? But I'm like, nah. Because I was in bed by 3 a.m. So I was like, nah, I'll push it to 9.30. The thing is also, I keep forgetting to like... Well, I was, like I said, I was going to crochet Thursday so that I could have had this already. Like, I was going to try to promote the live stream starting from Friday. But I didn't get a chance. Because I think some of you guys know Thursday was the day... <laughs> We went out drinking and we were out till like freaking 4 a.m. And I was just like sitting in the corner like, I want to go home. You know, because, you know, they're being nice by having me come along. But it's just like, I just sit there and I don't even drink. I just drink soda. Because I just get horrible um, acid reflux if I try to drink at all. I know it's such a curse. I can hold my alcohol, but ugh, if I drink, I will just get horrible acid reflux the next day. So that is a no thank you. I'll just stick to my soda pop. Actually, it's so funny because like the co-worker, like the owner, the owner of the hog one, she actually likes that I don't drink because apparently it's cheaper. Like uh, the other people, they're drinking like Jindro uh, soju, like this, like the more expensive soju. And I remember one co-worker, she kept uh, ordering like some kind of wine drink that's kind of expensive and it was kind of driving the owner crazy. She kept ordering more after more and so <laughs> she likes how I kind of Compensate for that price by just ordering soda. <laughs> I'm like, fine by me. It's, I always could never understand in like TV series or books when you like a person goes to a party and they drink soda and everyone's like, oh, you're drinking soda? I'm like, heck yeah, soda's freaking delicious. Why wouldn't I? I don't know why they would think it's like a bad thing. Because I'm sorry, but beer tastes like crap. I know, I think, I know some people like the taste of beer, or like really good craft beer. I can understand for that, but I just don't, my like taste buds just aren't made that way for that. Oh, the plan is weird, that's why. Oh yeah, because of the time changes. I was almost thinking the plan is weird because of like them liking beer over soda. <laughs> they are weird for that too, actually, to be honest. Heck, I still remember we went on a freaking hike, went on my first trip with the uh, university. We stayed at Yongin University, which is like a really big, it's not number one, but it's like, I think the second best university for like sports or athletes in Korea. Forgot what the first one is. 
but I know Youngin is the second. I guess because it's not in Seoul. The first one's in Seoul, so the that's why it's number two. <laughs> but still, well, we went hiking on a mountain, and <sighs> at the top they gave us like lunch and stuff, right? They, when I was really thirsty, they ran out of water. But they had plenty of makuri, which is like a rice, an, like another version of rice wine. It's not as powerful as soju, it's kind of more milky. And I'm just like, y'all brought alcohol, you brought plenty of alcohol, but you didn't bring enough water? <laughs> like, what is it with y'all? Apparently it's popular to drink that kind of alcohol when you go hiking. And I'm just like, okay, but what, at the time I was not of drinking age, so I couldn't drink anyway. So I'm like, okay, but what, what were youngins supposed to do, you know? We supposed to just like... Uh, be dehydrated. <laughs> oh, so the next time we went hiking, I brought my own dang bottle of water. <laughs> I was like, screw this. I know never had never one. I'm 21. Yeah, same. It's like, I don't know. I, I know people like alcohol for the buzz and stuff, but like, ugh. I don't know. It just, it makes you feel weird. Like, you're not in control of your own body. And I, that's kind of more creepy to me, that kind of feeling. Well, I understand, like, there was a time where I, when we were in San Francisco, and I actually had a soju cocktail. We went to this Korean restaurant. I think it was, like, a Korean-Japanese restaurant, because I remember they had Japanese dishes as well. And it was actually the best soju cocktail I ever had. It was, like, a strawberry yogurt, so I could hardly taste the soju. And I only had one, so it was perfect. Like, it gave just the perfect buzz without getting drunk, you know? And that was, I think, how alcohol should be taken. But, oh, my Korean co-workers, they'll drink and drink until they're sloppy. And I'm like, oh, that's just Korean culture, though. That is just Korean drinking culture. And the weirdest thing is it's on a weeknight. Like, why? I think it's because, apparently, they do it because they don't want to feel like crap on the weekends. But you're going to feel like crap the next day at work. They would rather feel like crap going into work rather than their weekend. Which, I mean, I can kind of get up at the same time. That would just make work even more miserable. Especially because we work with kids. You don't want to be grumpy when you work with kids. But I know most people, like, they'll work at, like, an office or something. So I'm not sure how their job is. Like, maybe it's... You know, easy going enough that they can withstand having like a headache or something. But even then, I would hate the thought of going to work for like a massive headache and hangover. <laughs> and you know what? I wasn't keeping track of how many rows I've been doing. Good grief. Let me try to find it real quick. Where's my last increase? Okay, so I've done two rows of. Is it two rows? Yeah, okay. I've done two rows of single crochet. So that is uh, four. So this, I just finished round five. So this is round six. I need to keep track this time. I know, yeah. Alcohol scares you. You're really young, but alcohol scares you. Honestly, it's just not worth it in my opinion. <laughs> And actually, it, another thing too, is it, it's not just, you want to know something funny I found out? So a bottle of soju, most people, when we go out drinking, they'll drink at least a bottle or a bottle and a half of soju. And people don't realize how many carbs and calories are in alcohol, actually. Like, the one bottle of soju was double of my two cans of soda, had less calories than that one bottle of soju. Because, you know, the whole time I'm thinking, I know I'm drinking soda, so it's bad. Holy crap, no, the soda was less than everything. Like, no toxics. Well, maybe some toxic if you count the high fructose corn syrup. But, calorie-wise, it was less than the freaking bottle of soju. So I was like, heck yeah, I ain't drinking no more heck. I'm, you know, I don't want those calories going, going to waste. I'd rather go towards something that's actually delicious. Because, <laughs> uh, for a short time, like, in high school, I did have, I, I did go through, like, a soda craze, kind of addiction phase. Now I just drink it occasionally, finally. I used to drink like two or three cans a day. I don't know how I lived. Like, how did I not get diabetes right away? But now I just drink it like, whenever we go out. And not even all the time, like a lot of times Korean restaurants don't even have, like they don't have a soda machine for you to use. 
and depending on the restaurant, we'll either, we will order a soda or we'll just like drink just water that they have. They always have like a little thing of water you can drink. Yeah, you see, an alcohol can definitely do the body. I know, right? And actually, when we would drink, I wouldn't even drink that much. And, like, the next day, my face would look like what they call hoppa, which means, like, it's like a big, puffy, white, uh, bread. <laughs> and, I, like, I'm like, my face looks like hoppa. Oh, I hate it, you know? Like, I don't want to have a puffy face. I don't want puffy, swollen eyes. I don't want acid reflux. No, thank you. And it's so weird. Like, even some of the co-workers would look at me weird. Like, the one who would... I forgot what her name was, but she went by the name Anna. I know that wasn't her real name, but, like, we would, like, have, like... Sometimes the teachers have, like, English nicknames for the students, I guess, to make it feel more... Like, an English learning school kind of deal. And she went by Anna, the one that would order wine all the time. And she was like, why you don't want to drink? Like, kind of shaming me for it. And I'm like, I didn't like her either. I'm so glad she's gone. Actually, it's because of her I lost my favorite scarf. Because um, if you if any of y'all saw the conversation in the Discord I was having with Divine Rose Knight about the drinking, um, we were talking about like one time the owner she was so drunk she tried to drag me <laughs> in her apartment. Oh god, that was so fun. She was so drunk, but she was like giddy like a little kid. She's like, come come let's have a sleepover <laughs> and I'm like and my husband had to like hold on to me while she was trying to drag me in her apartment but that was the same night that we had gone out with everyone else like the with Anna and we had gone to a karaoke bar I am the only one sober so I should not be losing stuff right but now Anna wouldn't stop like trying to hold on to me or hug me like while they're all singing and like she would try to drag me to get the same like I would sing, but, like, not, I don't sing very well, so I don't do it a lot. And when we were trying to leave, we were trying to help the owner up because she was the most drunk and she was having a hard time standing, but the other Anna wouldn't stop, like, coming, like, is she going to be okay? And even, like, she just kept saying that, like, putting her hand on my shoulder and, like, distracting me. And because of that, I left my scarf at that Noribong, and even though I went back the next day, they said they never found it, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if they kept it or if they actually threw it away. And even just in case we check the restaurant, and it's just like, my scarf, I miss it. It was my favorite. It was like the first scarf I ever bought that I really, really liked. Like, it was really soft, too. Oh, I want my scarf back, Anna. So we make it, we have like a running joke now about like, dang it, Anna, I want my scarf back. <laughs> like, just randomly, if we talk about scarves, she comes up. I don't think she'll ever see this. But if she ever... If she somehow ever sees this live stream, yo, bish, I want my scarf back. <laughs> I know, right? That's what you call a crazy night. I actually have a video clip of it. Um, where did I post it? Oh, it's on my normal Instagram. Um, let me type in the username. Wait, did I write that right? Yeah, I think that's correct. That should be the that's my username for my normal crush for no, eh, my normal Instagram. And I think if you scroll down, you can see like some kind of party where like everyone's singing at a Noribang, like a karaoke place. I think that's in. I think I posted that to my Instagram. I'm trying to remember if it was Instagram or Facebook or did I do both. I am trying to remember. I can't check though because my. Instagram on the, if I try going through the computer, it's go, it goes to my crochet one, not my uh, normal one. Oh, good grief, I forgot what round I'm on. I'm gonna find that last increase again. I think that was round six. Where's the increases? So four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that was round seven. So now we're doing round eight. Okay, I gotta remember round eight. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. Okay, round eight. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done with your frog eyes. My face gonna look cute.
Oh, I need to stop yawning. Oh, I need to pick up the pace, so it's already 11. I only have till 2 o'clock, or two, at least 2.30 at the latest, because I need to split the rice cooker. I need to tidy up the kitchen in case she tries to come inside. You know what it's like when a mother-in-law comes over. It's like all stress. <laughs> stop crocheting in the corner of the screen okay I need me like a marker or something let me see what the cherry set if I crochet I want to find like that perfect spot and just look at that keep my eye on that to make sure that I crochet in the middle of the dang screen Hopefully one day I can have like a computer set up type like like what Louis got like he's so professional when he like live streams like he's got all this like cool like when he goes to leave somewhere he'll put like the little screen up like oh you'll be right back or like have animations play but I think you can only do that when you're live streaming with a computer I don't think you can do that with the phone <laughs> that'd be cool if you can do that. Okay, so that was round eight. Let me see where we're at. Is that big enough? Maybe one more round. I think round nine. Yeah, because later I want to type these out with like little pictures. Well, not of like of the little end picture and post on Discord. I know most people probably would tell me like no you should do that kind of stuff for patreon i got is it i think that's what patreon does like they let you in on extra stuff but yeah i'm treating my discord like a patreon like i just i need like little free patterns i just type out for everyone to see <laughs> to use because i just don't have time for making a patreon that it just seems like too much extra work honestly i'd rather just make a better stronger community and besides most of my stuff I post on there is really simple stuff so I would feel guilty if I try to make it you know like paid for you know This one might turn out to be a bit smaller. I can. Oh my god, am I? I'm like gradually going toward the corner again. I gotta stop that. Uh, but I can feel like the stitching is really tight because my wrist is making that popping noise again. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But it's like making a, a slight, slightly audible popping noise. And I'm like, yep, the stitches are a bit on the tight side. It only does it if I do it in like an awkward position. Let me see, I think that is long enough. Yeah, so I'm going to write that down. Round 9. So 4 through 9 is single crochet. So that means round 10, 11, and 12 are de ah, decrease rounds. Let me check something. Oh, wow, the subscribe count is uh, 528. Dang. It was 523 last I checked. Oh yeah, it's like another thing too. I've noticed a pattern. <laughs> Whenever I post a video, like I just posted my Molong video, every time I post a video, I lose exactly one subscriber. It is the weirdest thing. 
I've been trying looking it up. And apparently other people have the same trouble, but they don't say one. They just, like, some will say, I lose, like, 10, 20 subscribers every time I post a video. For me, though, it's always one subscriber. Never more, never less. Just always one. And I'm like, why? Like, what are you doing, YouTube? Is, is it, like, legit? Why every... And why would it be every time? I cannot... Because I know some people say the theory is that when you post, maybe someone that was subscribed to you a long time ago gets the notification, and they're like, oh, I don't watch that person anymore, and they unsubscribe. But is that going to happen every single time? Oh, shoot. I keep bumping the camera. Okay. Now to start decreasing... So now we just do one single crochet and decrease. Oh, all these like, pencil shavings everywhere. Yeah, that seems to be suspicious. I know, right? It's the weirdest thing. But it seems like at least the subscriber count like went up like quickly so I always kind of wonder like another thing, another thing I'll notice too is like sometimes after a day or two that the number will go back up by one and I'm like did someone just one person subscribe or did like but it happens a lot like eventually the one that went away would come back by just one subscriber and I'm like I always kind of wonder if, like, it's a glitch with YouTube. Like, they take one subscriber away from your account and then they add it again. I don't know. Because that's, that's the problem is that, um... If you have a certain setting where, uh, if people can see who you're subscribed to. But the problem is it also... Like, I can see in my notifications, like, uh... It looks like, looks like Russian text. So, I think, like, a Russian person had just subscribed to me yesterday. But, you know, I can't always, I don't always see who subscribes to me. Like, it doesn't, and it doesn't tell you. It only gives you the notification if that person has that, uh, they allow you to see who you're subscribed to, um, permission on. Like, if they have that, then you can see when they, when that person subscribes to you, you can see that. But they don't, you don't see when you get a new subscriber. You don't get a notification for it. Which really sucks. Because I would like to have a notification for every time I get a subscriber. That would be nice. Because then I could see if it's like a real person coming or if it's a real person going. Actually, I kind of would hope they would make... They should also make a notification for when someone else is unsubscribes, actually. Because then I can, like, see maybe is there anything I'm doing wrong or is it, like, you know, is there a pattern... I'm also wondering when YouTube will get rid of the dislike button. <laughs> well, I guess I, so the problem is they do kind of need it for, like, certain topics, I guess. But it's like, so I'm, I've always heard of horror stories of, like, like, the bots that come and, like, they'll, like, start disliking a whole bunch of videos. And I'm like, what if that just happens to me one day? And uh, it's not even a real person doing it. They just do it out of malice. Someone, like, sets up this bot to go loose. And dislike a bunch of videos. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. I know, right? I would like to get a notification for each time. Or I wish, like, if someone's gonna dislike a video, they have to give a reason. You know what I mean? They can't just blatantly put out, like, oh, I just don't like this video. Like, give a reason why. At least we'll get, you know, at least it gives us some feedback. Because even some of my videos have gotten, like, the down downvote button. But the problem is, I don't know why they downvoted it. Did they not like how it looks? Did they not like how I pulled the pattern? Did they just not like the quality of the video? Like, what about, about the video did you not like? Like, I wish... They could, like, give a little bit of feedback. They technically could do that with a comment, but they don't do it, you know what I mean? Like, it should be, like, you can't dislike this video unless, until, like, you give a reason. And, like, they could have, like, a set of, like, pre-made options, like, a... You don't like video quality, you don't like sound quality, you don't like the topic. And then they can have other where they can type out specifically about what they didn't like about it. 
on like uh, another pretty option would be like it's too violent or something like that. I can't tell if it's going to rain or not. It's like sunny, but it's got that weird sunny cloudy look. Like, you know, it's about to rain, but it's, it's sunny at the same time. I'm getting that kind of vibe from outside. Because, like, it's really overcast in the distance. And then overhead, it's like just some puffy clouds and blue sky in the sun. Um, I know it rained yesterday, so it might rain, rain again. Oh, it's finally feeling warm though. It was six, it's been getting up to like 16, 17 de degrees Celsius lately, and I'm just so happy. No more stupid winter. My hands can, oops. My hands can finally take a break. Oh, pitch black with loads of stars outside. I know, I wish I could see like those kind of countryside type skies that you always hear about, like in the UK. Or like in Sweden, and like you can see all the stars. Cause here it's like you don't really see them. There's too many city lights. Okay, I'm gonna fill it up just as much. What is? Okay, so now it's just single crochet. So I'm not gonna use the stitch marker. I just cause it's basically decreasing in each stitch, so can't go wrong. I just need to count how many times I do it. Gotta make sure it's six times. So we got one. Trying to get in that front loop. This angle is just not doing it for me. Okay, so number two. Okay, this one will be number three. If I can get my hook through the dang front loop. If I had this up to my face, it would be no problem. I always feel bad, like in my like uh and sometimes in my crochet videos, you can tell I'm struggling at some point and I get scared if people think that this like that tiny crochet is hard when no it's not it's just because I'm filming that it's it's a struggle at the moment okay so this is four. Oh my god would you get in the loop please thank you Okay, so this is five. And next one is six. Oh my goodness, this is giving me trouble. Come on, go in there. Oh, Jesus, that was hard. Oh, you know, I should have, I should fill it just a bit more before because I'm going to do one more round of decreasing. Cause it, that's what gives it that like little peck at the t uh, top. Doing it one more time. Uh, wait, let me open this up first. Okay, there's still a little bit of room, so I can stuff a little bit at a time. I know, right? If they shut all the city lights off, we'd be able to see the freaking Milky Way. That'd be awesome. I've never seen the Milky Way before. I've never been in a place where you can like even when we go camping, you don't we don't see as many stars because to be fair, where we would go camping, it's just on the outskirts of the city, so it's like I think it's still you can see a little bit more of the stars out there, but nothing magical. It's like you have to be like really far out away from the city, like super far out. I'm trying to think I think the closest I've seen to a lot of stars is maybe my cousin's home. Back when they lived in Hardy, Arkansas, because that was really way out in the country. A lot of farmland out there, and I think you could see the stars pretty good. But I don't remember ever seeing the Milky Way, though. I think that might also have to be, like, a location point, I think. Because it's in, like, Sweden. Yeah, Sweden is, like, closer to the top of the globe. And, like, Arkansas is, like, more... Ah, uh, yeah, because Arkansas is more, like, facing outward or something. How does this look? Do I want to stuff it more? I want to stuff it just a tad more. Ah, I can't. How I, I hate how I keep dropping stuff. Mm. 
Okay, I think that's good. Now I will do the last round of. So this time I just gotta decrease three times. Because that's all that's left. And six stitches. Oh, goodness, this is hard. Come on, get in there. Thank you. So that's one. This one is two. And the last one. Oh god. Okay, I think the last one I'm gonna do off camera because it's so freaking hard to do. I need to have it up close to my face. Okay, got it. And I'm not gonna chain one to finish off. I'm not gonna do that because I want to keep it. That little knot will be way too visible. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Also, what helps is kind of pinching this at the bottom. Make it as small as possible. Okay, as you can tell, like, this is a little bit on the skinnier side, right? I need to, like, doctor it up with the tail. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's coming. Oh, yeah, it's a time to finally be able to sleep. Oh, yeah, because I know you have insomnia. Let's see. Oh, you made a strawberry frog earlier. Oh, with like yellow, cute little yellow cheeks. Oh, and then a little stem on leaf on top. That'd be adorable. I know, I love making animals into, like, fruit. <laughs> or, like, a type of food. Like, you know, I don't know if you've seen, like, those 